A women's bantamweight matchup between Amanda Nunes and Valentina Shevchenko. All right, so here we go, round one. They will do it again, Amanda Nunes versus Valentina Shevchenko. And when we sat down with Valentina on Thursday, she is hell-bent on getting a win against the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Yes, she feels as though she needs and she has to beat Amanda Nunes. Not only because Amanda is one of the greatest female fighters of all time, but because Amanda has those two very close wins over right. her. And she feels with just a few adjustments, she could have been the one that's up to in this series. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, how good was that right hand? Beautiful connection by her there. Right down the pipe and right on the chin. Oh, big uppercut for her there. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. While her opponent is squirming, and this might be the beginning of the end, the ground and pound strikes continue to land at will. She's landing it over and over again. She needs to make sure that when she's chasing the finish, she doesn't get excited and lose the position. Final seconds here. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with our next round. Free headaches if you want them. How about all the volume of strikes landed to the head by her in the previous round? Oh, man, she's landing at an alarming rate over and over, dropping that right hand behind a beautiful jab. If her opponent does not get her head moving, we may be approaching the end of the fight. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target. What a great job. Nice leg kick land. And they separate. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that's a nice strike. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown? Dude? All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands among the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. 38 total strikes have landed for Valentina Bulichevchenko. Oh, can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Knee to the body. Well, that left hand, oh, huge right hand. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Punch over the top. Back in the clinch now. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. It Third round underway. 
Under three minutes now to go in round three. Not there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nunes gets caught with that punch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Another leg kick land. Big power shot there. Shevchenko's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Fight stats for you now, 59. Total strikes have already landed for Amanda Nunes. And connecting at a pretty good rate, DC. 60% accuracy thus far against Valentina Shevchenko. Nunes gets caught with that punch. Real quick leg kick. One minute. Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. Right hand upstairs. She heard her back. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. The right hand just misses. All right, so she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort earlier on, but cleaned up the technique a little bit. And now we'll see what she can do with it. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated what's my best course of action. Figured it out, got it done. Now, how does she handle being on top with dominant top position? All right, so a huge round for her there, DC, as we get you some of the highlights. A lot of good leg kicking going on there. She controlled the fight with her leg kicks. I mean, it's hard to remember a time that someone was so dominant with this type of leg kicking action, with these many leg kicks. She did it in the highest level in that round. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. She's such a fast leg kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, she landed another strike to the body there. Very smart to work that body late in the fight when her opponent is fatigued. You didn't see a lot of that from her earlier in the fight. She is certainly getting after it now. Big punch lands through the middle. Under two minutes now to go. Takedown defense holds up. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Now she's got the boy Ty Plum. And they separate. Beautiful combination there by Nunes. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Oh! Wow! Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, you can see her lifted a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Switch me lands to the body. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Here we go, fifth and final round. Under three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, it sounds obvious, but she clearly needs a knockout or a TKO or a submission or she's going to be on the wrong end of the scorecard. Well, she's got to do something. You are not going to win this fight if you let it go to the judge. There's no give on that leg kick. You got to check these low leg kicks.
Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, she landed a combination of knees there. It forces her opponent to retreat. Devastating knees on the feet. Devastating knees. Hurt her opponent multiple times with those knees and to throw them back to back. It's truly crazy. You can't take many of those. You better check. You can't take many of those now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! Ooh, she might be in trouble now. Huge diving punch to the head. Shevchenko's in half guard now. All right, so the fighters go the distance pretty quickly. 